Hello, I'm Dr. Clement Shimizu of the Illuminati. In this video, we are going to introduce projection mapping with Unity 3D and Omnity 2. This is a high-level talk meant for people considering options for immersive environments. We have other tutorial videos for people ready to start developing with Omnity. If you are unfamiliar with Unity 3D, it is a tool for video game development, 3D visualization, and interactive media installations. It's quite popular because it's cross-platform, powerful, and low cost. But most of all, it is popular because it is faster and easier than previous methods of developing. Unity 3D is the perfect tool for creating virtual environments, visualizations, interactive exhibits, and more. In the past, we built a tool called OmniMap for fisheye projection mapping OpenGL and DirectX applications like flight simulators into domes. We built Omnity to do Unity 3D fisheye projection mapping. Omnity 2 is our most powerful version yet. One requirement of Omnity is that you use it with Unity 3D Pro. The free version won't work. If you don't have it yet, you can download a trial copy of Pro from Unity 3D for evaluation. Like cameras in all game engines, Unity's in-game camera creates rectangular images for display on flat screens, such as a computer monitor, mobile device, or video projection on a flat wall. If the image was projected onto a curved surface, like a dome, it would appear distorted. Optical and perspective correction techniques must be employed to produce undistorted output on non-planar displays. For this dome theater, a spherical video output is projected through a fisheye lens. This is what a geodome looks like on the outside. In essence, it is a portable, inflatable, video projected planetarium. This is the geodome portal. The projector is placed down at the bottom front of the screen. Omnity is powerful enough to be able to generate the proper geometry correction given any position of the projector, screen, and sweet spot of the viewer. This can be specified by a configuration files or a GUI tool. This geodome panorama creates a seamless viewing surface that wraps around you. Imagine here that the screen surface is a window into a virtual world. The immersion of this panorama comes from having the 3D world all around you. The image on the right shows the omnified image sent to the projector. The application shown is the Medieval Environment Pack, bought for 70 bucks on the Unity 3D Asset Store, and it was effortless to omnify. The ability to rapidly and inexpensively go from nothing to a stunning starting point for an immersive environment illustrates the power of the Unity plus Omnity combo. The projector that powers this is on the ceiling and uses a fisheye lens to project in every direction. We call it an omnifocus projector because it focuses on a curved screen at multiple depths simultaneously. A normal projector can only focus on a single flat wall. Omnity can also be used with arbitrary screen shapes, even projecting onto multiple flat walls from a single projector. In this case, this is Unity 3D and Omnity running off a laptop projecting onto the walls and ceiling with a single OmniFocus projector. We have used Omnity for projecting onto displays with flat and curved sections and other weird things. We built Omnity 2 to be extremely powerful and flexible if the situation calls. This is what the recipe for the projection mapping looks like. It took a little more effort compared to the inflatable geodome screens because this was a custom screen shape, but it worked great. We were even able to put the score on the back wall. Omnity is very simple to set up. It comes as a single C-sharp file. The basic approach is to attach Omnity CS to the main camera. The display type can be set at runtime. In most situations, that's all you really need to do. You can expect most stuff to work without modification. Omnity is relatively innocuous, so it won't interfere with your project if you add it. It won't mess up your app's ability to run on flat screens, 
because it's easily disabled. Most of Unity's lighting and rendering options are supported, including shadows, light mapping, light probes, deferred rendering, terrains, etc. Most stuff should just work. There are a few caveats. First, if you're using a non-spherical display type, for example, a J-shaped screen, you'll need to do a few extra steps in the editor to support it. The other significant issue to be aware of is that most image space things designed for rectangular displays will not work without some adjustment. Here are some considerations for that. The first is 2D graphics. You will need to put 2D graphics into 3D space. You may need to rearrange them so that they fill up the wider field of view. You may need to add some scripts to make the 2D images face towards the camera. Full screen video can be mapped as movie textures and rendered on surfaces. If you have panoramic or fisheye video, then you may even be able to display it across the whole screen. If you use the mouse to interact with screen objects in your application, you will need to change that to use Unity's physics.raycast to convert the mouse interaction to work in 3D space. There are some great 3D pointing devices that may be useful as an alternative to a mouse when using Unity 3D in the dome. Post-processing effects like lens flares do not work. Most can just be ignored or disabled. You can experiment with trying to copy them to the Omnity's Final Pass camera at runtime or even to each individual render channel camera. We have had mixed results when we have experimented with it. Some produce undesirable seams on the display, some look wrong, but some of them work. The biggest issue is that Unity's GUI class cannot be used on the Omnity camera. One workaround is to switch to use a 3D GUI class like EasyGUI and move the GUI into the 3D scene instead of screen space. Another workaround is to add a flat screen monitor and keep that for the GUI. With Unity's GUI matrix property, it is possible to keep your GUI on just your flat screen display. My biggest recommendation is for you to focus on finding a creative and compelling control system that doesn't need a mouse. Unity 3D plus Omnity is a breakthrough combination. It has never been easier, faster, or more affordable to build immersive environments, especially when you consider the breathtaking environment packs inexpensively available on the Unity Asset Store. We have seen so many great things made with Unity 3D, from independent games to games for change, from scientific visualizations to art installations. We can't wait to see what your Unity 3D creation feels like in an omnified immersive environment. You can buy Omnity on the Unity 3D Asset Store. To find out more about Illuminati's OmniFocus projectors, the geodomes, and other immersive environments, check out Illuminati.com. You should also check out the Omnity tutorial video. You'll be amazed to see how easy it is to use.